it is a, a, an Australia first and there's only one other project in the world that I know of that's actually doing this so um, you know it's really leading the way and so it really is a true innovation project and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. WGV will be smart, affordable, sustainable living at its very best. Basically one of the things we, we did, it was, it was an iterative process where initially we had to explain to the design team that we are doing our thinking across these ten principles and then as different initiatives emerged uh, we were able to incorporate them. I think the real benefit of the One Planet Living accreditation is that it shows that this development ticks off on those multiple development facets. Not just one area such as water sensitive design, which it does, not just the other facet of energy efficiency, which it does, but it also picks up on all the other elements as well, including landscape and community. Really what we need to be doing is saying, how do we live rich, vibrant and exciting lives that are part of sort of amazing communities and at the same time consume less resources. Is that it brings together Landcorp and its vision for doing innovation and community's desire to do something different and sustainable around built form. This is a really exciting research project because it's a living laboratory. It involves you know, real people living real lives in a real housing development. The thing about WGV is there's so much innovation and quality design squeezed in to a two hectare development site. Living in that environment, um, you're, you're in a valley which has uh, a lovely kind of limestone hill as its, as its base. You look away to the west, you have these green community places around that and you have developing in that area these little nodes of uh, community activity around shops and cafes that are sort of coming back into the suburban area. So within the Gen Y apartments, um, we're looking to reduce grid electricity consumption by 60% and reduce overall electricity consumption by 30% compared against Perth norms. So we've set some very ambitious mains water reduction targets at WGV. We're looking to reduce mains water use by over 70%. Uh, across the development. What we basically said to the local residents and other stakeholders, which included the City of Fremantle, was what would they like to see here? What were the committee's aspirations? What were the important things um, that, they, that they felt the estate should have? And one of the great things about this project was it really put out a challenge to people who talk about sustainability to try and match their belief in, in the environment and sustainability with the idea of density. The Gen Y demonstration housing project that Landcorp embarked on um, last year basically set to um, see a, an architect design house that responded to the requirements or needs of the Gen Y um, generation. I guess one aspect with this house is that it essentially falls between a standard uh, residential home and a multiple um, apartment block and it fits in the middle. And essentially it is a, an apartment, but it's of such a small scale that it reads more like a house. And I think having smaller multiple dwellings is actually uh, a sort of crucial um, way forward. White Gum Valley excites me because it's quality design, partnership and innovation all in one beautiful package. I'm really excited because the future residents of WGV are going to be right at the forefront of a new way of living for Perth. The fact that we've got a whole development that's innovative, not just bits of one. And this is going to be something that you can tell a whole story about and people will say, yeah, we just like the way it works.